Welcome back. Demonology, a fascinating topic for some, a source of terror for others. My guest, Gregory Lake, it's the subject of his debut novel, I Think of Demons, which has been thrilling critics and fans this summer. Gregory, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Your book goes to some pretty dark places. I'm curious, you believe in demons yourself? Well, that's an interesting question. I wouldn't say I believe in demons as literal entities, but as a metaphor for individual struggles, that they can be quite potent. Uh -huh. Gregory, we are both have been the dark horse of the bestseller list this summer, and I'm sure I'm not the only one wondering. Any plans for a follow-up? Well... say it was about you, per se. I mean, you were- SILENCE! Playing. It was a very sympathetic portrayal of me. Well, thank you, Dr. Gore. I appreciate it. And uh, now that I've started to hallucinate, I think I need to go take a nap. Excuse me. What? Belphegor, there you are. Is now a good time for a little chat? Well, actually, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Right, very good. Now, I don't have to remind you, your numbers aren't looking good this quarter. Across all agents from all circles of torment, we're averaging 254.7 souls per month. Now, last month, you brought in... Wait! You know I bring in the souls. The souls are what I bring in. Actually, I'm working on one right now. What soul? Gregory Lake. That writer? The very same. He's writing another book about me. Well, that last book wasn't really about you, was it? Weren't you more of a supporting character? He is writing a book about me. And it should bring in more souls. Wouldn't that satisfy you? Well, I'm not the one you have to satisfy, but that gives me something I can tell the boss. All right, Belphegor, good meeting. Until next time. I know how to satisfy the boss. You should consider yourself lucky, Gregory Lake. Last time I dealt with an author, I sent him mad with visions of the underworld. He still resides down in hell with us. Took unpublished. Well, you know, thanks, Belfagor. I, I guess I am lucky, so... Hey, can I call you Belfie? You may not! Thanks, Belfie. So, anyway, what, what, what's so special about me? Why aren't you tormenting me with visions of madness? Well, I gave you a second chance, Gregory Lake. You will write the tome of Belphegor, Prince of Hell! See, this is exactly the problem. People are expecting a repeat of I Think of Demons, but I'm not a one-hit wonder, man. You know, I'm going to write something different this time. You know, I'm going to... Start with this guy that disappeared in New Jersey last year. You know, it's a real life event, so it's got some appeal. And, you know, we'll add the old uh, Gregory Lake special sauce of. Perhaps uh, I did not make myself clear, Gregory Lake. You shall write my book, or you shall be next year's disappearer. <sighs> Look, Belfie, threatening me is not going to work. You know, I've heard worse from my agent, and the fact is, you can't just turn on creativity like a light switch. You know, there's gotta be some kind of inspiration. It's inspiration you need! Welcome to the Eternal Void. Wow. Astounding, is it not? A boundless abyss of starless night. Are oh, you not afraid for your very soul? I don't know. I kind of like it. 
there's no distractions, no intrusive thoughts here. It's kind of relaxing. Yeah, I like it. You like it? I'm as surprised as you are. This is truly upsetting. This is not how this was supposed to go. But if you are not terrified, how will I get you to write my book? You know, I don't think that I have to write your book. I think you can tell your own story. Tell my own story? Well, yeah, don't you remember in I Think of Demons, you took control of the main character's body and mind and possessed him to work your will? Can you really do that? Of course I can! I am a prince of hell! Then I think I have an idea. I think I understand you, Gregory Lake. say, I'm impressed. You know, it feels a little dishonest, but I'm okay with putting my name on this if you are. I am? You can't you see I have not ripped out your heart yet? Belphegor, good, you're here. I've just spoken with Lucifer and the book idea is a no-go. There is a new cult emerging in northern Indiana and Lucifer wants you on it. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? I'm reading my new book. You seem awfully calm. Are you not terrified for the fate of your mortal soul? No, nope. I've just been chilling here while Belfi possesses my body to get the book done. He's been a real help, to be honest with you. It's a lie! I never helped him. I've been tormenting this weak-willed man to drive him to madness and condemn him. All right, all right, Belphegor, for a demon, you're a terrible liar. <sighs> Gregory Lake, you're telling me the truth? You really feel at home here in the void? It's better than my old apartment. In that case, maybe we can make a deal. Is this book really about Belphegor? Yes. Do you think you can get me some signed copies for the cult in the end? It would be my pleasure. Well, all right. There will be some paperwork to take care of, but I'll try to get you authorized as an emissary of the void. Belphegor, good work. I'll see you at laser tag. Emissary of the void, huh? I yes. Like the sound of that. For all eternity, you and me. Co-workers? I hope you do not drive me to madness, Gregory Lake. Hey, thanks for taking the time to read Prince of Hell. It really means a lot. Yeah, of course. I'll be honest, I, I didn't like the first book as much as this one, but this, this time around it's just it, it's so much better and so more real. Yeah, you know, I, I actually agree with you about that. I think the first one really wasn't as good, but you know what the best part of the new one is? What's that? It's so true! Cut. All right. You know, I really think that's going to turn out pretty good, considering we shot it all in Amy's basement in my living room. Yeah, it's great you found somebody to run the camera last minute. What do you mean? I just set it up on the tripod like we did. Fantastic job, me mortals! You shall now create my docu-series, Belphegor and Company! 